welcome to Math Society. Now we are back with another video, and in this lecture, we will learn how to find the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. For this, you will learn how to find the determinant and cofactors of a 3 by 3 matrix. So, before starting the lecture, if you don't subscribe to my channel, then go and subscribe and also click the bell icon for more videos. So, there is four steps to find the inverse of 3 by 3 matrix. First of all, we have to determine the determinant of A. The second step to check that the matrix A is non singular matrix and the third to find the adjoint of A and the last to put the values that we already find the determinant and the adjoint of A in the formula. So as to determine the determinant of A we already discussed how to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Now we will discuss firstly as to find the adjoint of the matrix. So if we have our matrix A2 and these are the elements A11, A12, A13 and the 2 so on. So we have to find the matrix of the cofactors as the cofactor of the element of A11 will be denoted by capital A11 and in this way we can find the matrix of this cofactor. So first of all how to find these cofactors of this these elements? If we have to calculate A11, the cofactor of the element which is small A11, so we have a formula that is minus 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1. 1 and remaining the determinant. So remove the row and column of this correspondence element so we are left with these four elements basically this. So it is also called as cofactor of A11 element. If we talk about in general way that is if we find with ij, ith row and jth column then the formula to find the cofactor is that i plus j and which is m i j. Aim is to calculate the adjoint of a. So the adjoint of a which is equals to the which is equals to the cofactor of a which is this set. Taking the transpose of this then we can obtain the adjoint of a. The first step is to calculate the determinant as we already discussed how to take the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix as I also drop the link in the description box I expand this by the first row so I take this now to remove the row and column of this correspondence element so we are left with these four elements which is minus 1 3 minus 4 1 the sign will be alternate first starting with plus the next sign is minus now the second element which is 1 and remove the correspondence row column and row. So I left with 1 3 2 1 plus 0 and remove the row and column we are left with 1 minus 1 2 minus 4 which is equals to 2 as we already discussed about the to find the determinant of 2 by 2 matrix in previous videos. Find this it will be minus 1 plus 12. Minus 1 it will be multiplied by this diagonal element which is 1 and the sign is minus and multiply the other element which is 3 multiplied 2 which is 6 plus 0 it will be minus 4 plus 2. So it will be 2 minus uh, 2 plus 11 minus 1 it will be minus 5 and it as 0 it will be 22 when multiply 11 with 2 and it will be plus 5 which is equals to 27 so the determinant of a matrix a is 27 now the second step to check out that the matrix is singular or not this is not equals to 0 a is non singular matrix it's mean the inverse of this matrix a is possible now to move on to find the cofactors of a as we have to find the cofactors of this set a as we already discussed in starting to find the cofactor a11 of the element which is 2 which is in the position of A1. It will be A11 which is equals to the formula is minus n plus ij. So ij is 1 plus 1. Now to remove the row and column of this matrix. So we are left with 4 elements which is minus 1, 3, minus 4 and 1. Now calculating this it will be minus 1 square 
and to finding the determinant it will be minus 1 and plus 12. So the square of minus 1 is 1 and it will be 11. So we find the first cofactor of the first element of given matrix which is 11. Now we have to calculate A1. So again by using the formula minus 1 and add these two numbers 1 plus 2. Now to remove the correspondence go and column so we are left with four elements which is 1 3 2 1 so to solve this it will be minus 1 power of 3 and it will be 1 minus 6 so it will be minus 1 and minus 5 it will be 5 now to calculate a1 3 means to find the cofactor of this element which is it will be again using the formula minus 1 and 1 plus 3. So finding the determinant to remove the correspondence column go. So we are left with 1 minus 1, 2 minus 4 which is equals to minus 1 and 2, 3 plus 1 which is 4. And to finding the determinant it will be minus 4 plus 2. So whenever we take a power of minus 1 which is even it always positive. 1 and it will be minus 2 so it will be minus 2 so it will be a to 1 minus 1 2 plus 1 which is ij and to find the determinant so we are left with 4 elements which is 1 0 minus 4 and 1 so which is equals to minus 1 of 3 and to finding the determinant 1 plus 0 as the power of minus 1 which is odd so it always minus 1 into 1 which is equals to minus 1. A22 two, two. means again formula i plus j which is 2 plus 2. Remove the correspondent go and the and the column. So we are left with elements 2 0 and 2 1. Now to solving this minus 1 it will be a 4 and 2 minus 0 it will be 2. A 2 3 similarly applying the formula which is 2 plus 3. We have our determinant which is 2 1 2 minus 4 which is equals to minus 1 5 and it will be minus 8 minus 2 which is equals to minus and because the power is odd so minus will be minus it will be minus 10 so the final answer is 10. A 3 1 means this element again applying the formula 3 plus 1 and if we remove this row and this column then we are left with 1 0 1 0 minus 1 into minus 1 3 4 into finding this it will be 3 plus 0 it will be 3 similarly a 3 2 which is equals to minus 1 3 plus 2 and to find the determinant 2 0 1 and 3 so it will be minus 1 and 5 and it will be a 6 minus 0 so because of the odd power it will be minus 1 into 6 which is equals to minus 6 and for the last one a 3 3 which is equals to minus 1 again formula 3 plus 3. Now to remove the correspondence row of the element and the column. 2, 1, 1, minus 1. It will be minus 1 power of 6 and to finding this minus 2, minus 1, it will be minus 3. So the cofactors of A, the value of A11 is 11. The A12 is 5 the value of a13 which we calculate is minus 2 2 1 is minus 1 a22 two two is 2 the value of a23 is 10 and the value of a31 minus minus a joint of the matrix a we just transpose this matrix so the transpose says just to the interchanging rows into the columns as this row becomes this column after the transposition the second row becomes the second column 2 10 similarly 3 minus 6 and 3 so here the adjoint which is 
27 and we write this matrix that we obtain which is this 5 2 minus 6 minus 2 10 and 3 so here is the a inverse multiplicative inverse of this matrix A. So it's all about today's lecture and it's all complete procedure to find the inverse of the 3 by 3 matrix. If you like this then don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share.